lesser row. When was she built again? Uh, 73. 73. Was when the keel was laid, although there's not really much of a boat there. Um, so she was built in 73, featured in issues one and one, two, and four of Wooden Boat. Mm -hmm. uh, built by Dutch Wharf Boatyard in Brantford, Connecticut. Mm -hmm. She's a traditionally built New Haven Sharpie. Look at the size of this trunk. <laughs> It's pretty wild. That's great. How did you come by her? Um, she was at uh, at the Sound School in New Haven, which is an aquaculture high school. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, she was donated there in 2002, I believe, if I remember correctly. My boat building class went to pick her up when she was donated. We towed her back to New Haven in the water, did some work on her, and sailed her all through my high school career. Um, oh, wow. She became neglected after uh, lack of funding, <coughs> basically, mm -hmm. um, and uh, has been out of the water for about 10 years. Oh, wow. Um, and you started the work on her recently? Uh, yeah. What, today is the 30th? I got her three weeks ago. Monday, <laughs> if I remember correctly, yeah. So she uh, came home on a flatbed trailer with me, and I uh, spent the last two weeks doing a pretty much a full restoration. We brought her right down to wood, um, scraped and sanded to clean wood on every single surface. Uh, Recock the seams. Through a, of which there are like not many. Not many, <laughs> yeah. right? I, yeah, I just yeah. noticed that. Yeah, so she's no, there's uh, one full length seam and then a steeler plank up in the bow here. Um, cool. Uh, she's floating a little low in the bow because of all the stuff I have stored in her right now. Oh, I see. For yeah. My, my yeah. sailing trip. Right, right. But if I stand on the stern. So, oh, I see. The way she's to. Oh, yeah, let's see it. Oh, I see. So that comes. So, this is about where she's supposed to sit. Maybe a little bit further. Sweet. Great, great. Can you show me around the cockpit a little bit? Just show me, like, what, sure. where, you, where you'd be at. Well, she said, I mean, you haven't sailed her again yet. You're yeah, you're I looking forward to since high school. But where where I mean, you sit back here so, and Yeah, you kind of hang out back here. This boat was built as if she was a work boat. So, um, oyster fishermen uh, tong oysters, you tong oysters right into the boat. Um, <coughs> that's why it's she's got these really wide gunnels. Oh, I see, yep. Um, so you could walk around the boat. She'd be anchored off the stern in an oyster bed uh, with the bow going downwind, both sails headed out in front of her. Oh, gotcha. Tonged in. Um, and then uh, to sail, um, you kind of just try and find a comfortable spot back here to sit and relax. And yeah. Sit. <laughs> I mean, with the combing there, I'm just yeah, it's wondering not, not like, a super how comfortable you. spot to sit. Um, right, right. But, uh, you can also sit down inside, kind of. Um, all the sail controls come back aft, all both of them, mm -hmm. both sail controls. Not much going on on this boat. Um, the centerboard is huge. Yeah, so they're both loose footed. There's no. Both sails are loose footed. They're sprit rigged, so there's a sprit gotcha. that comes diagonally across. Yep. The mizzen sprit would be. Mizzen sprit's about like about like that, give or take. Gotcha. Um, cool. Um, and, uh, yeah, she's pretty fast for uh, for the size boat that she is. Partially because she 
doesn't weigh much, and she's so shallow. Uh, yeah. Nine, nine inches with the board up. Jeez. Um, wow. With the board down, the way right now it's down, probably about three and a half feet of draft with the board down. Wow. But it, it it's a self. Um, it, it'll come up, like if you hit something. Right. Um, same with this rudder. Actually, this is a the first kick up rudders were on sharpies, and if you look at the front of the rudder, oh, it's tied off. Of the rudder, if you can see it, um, is curved um, towards the bottom. Yes. And that uh, you can that'll come up when you run a ground on a sandbar. Right. But the rudder will just pop up. Oh, it'll just pop up through that hole. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of the first tending, um, first kick up rudder. That's neat. Um, at least give you a little something so it won't so it won't break, break. off. Yeah. <laughs> um, painted with all Kirby paints. Yeah. Um, low luster, so she's a work boat. Yep. Um, and what would you like to do with her? I'd love to go sailing. Yeah. <laughs> like day sailing mostly. Yeah, mostly yeah. day sailing, some weekend camping. I could see camp uh, cruising in this, making yeah. yourself a little boom tent. You know, yep. there aren't any booms, but you get what I'm well, saying. The, like uh, you could. The main sprit will hang between the main and the mizzen. Perfect. Yeah. Um, so you could camp out under there or back here. Use but it's also house. really shoal, so you could just bring her into a beach and yes. camp ashore. Yep. Yeah. yeah. That's probably what we'll end up doing with her. We're gonna go camping on Selden Island a bunch this summer. Um, on the Connecticut River. But she'll be uh, based out of Haddam. And I, I have uh, given an open invitation to any wooden boat um, people coming to come down and go sailing. Also, uh, any sound school um, alums oh, or awesome. current students and staff future nice. students and staff because that's you know the whole point of having fun on a boat is to have fun on a boat yeah totally yeah, yeah. share the love right totally well thanks alex so, thanks for showing yeah, us around the boat you. this is really special i'm so glad you could come i am too